I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will talk about rearranging formula for surface area of a prism. So let me sketch one for you and let's say that's the front face of our prism. It is a rectangular prism which we are talking about and let's say this is the top of the prism Okay, and that's the height. Correct. So we can just complete it off. It's a three dimensional figure as you can see and let us say that the dimensions of this prism are x, y and z where z is the height. Now what we really want to do is figure out how the surface area is related with either of the sides. As you know there are 12 surfaces for this particular prism. A rectangular prism has 12 surfaces two of each kind. So two front and back they are same, top and bottom are same and the sides. So we can say the surface area S for this kind of a prism is twice area of the front side. So front side will be x into z in this case, x into z plus two times top and bottom which could be x into y. So two times x into y plus the two sides so 2 times y into z right so these are all perpendicular sides they are all rectangles so they can be multiplied to find the area so y into z now in this particular video what we are going to observe is how to isolate one of these variables that let us say we know that the surface area is 100 and we need to find uh, z the height for this particular prism in terms of other defined variables. How can we do that? So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. Basically, we need to isolate the variable z from this particular equation. How can we do that? That is the exercise. Well, as you can see, there are two terms in which we have z, so we could factor these that term in the middle does not have so what we will do is we'll take away 2xy from both the sides with the result we get surface area as minus 2xy on the left side that should be equals to 2xz plus 2yz okay? now we can factor 2z so if I factor 2z I get x plus y in the brackets on the left side we have surface area minus 2xy. Now I can isolate z by dividing both sides by 2 times x plus y. So I get z equals to surface area minus 2xy divided by 2 times x plus y. You get that. So that is how we can rearrange and find one of the dimensions in terms of other dimensions of a prism right so let me write this formula here for you so we finally get z equals to surface area of the whole prism minus 2xy divided by 2 times x plus y this series which we are talking about we are trying to recall our skills of rearranging and using the formulas that's the whole idea and as your need may be, it can be applied in many different applications. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.